uh, so hi guys hi hello uh, I'm back again after a long uh, off uh, of it uh, it vacation and uh, I was not able to move out of that Ramadan phase like making the uh, making all the shots related with iftar and seri so um, like I was engaged with my studies also since my since like two of the biggest exams in my current phase are coming up in the next month and one more is there in uh, no, in less than a two months so like I was engaged in a new planning after coming back from home and another whole lot strategy need, needed to be made so I couldn't really come back with the content and of course it it will be coming out uh, totally non ramadan related because now that the phase is ramadan phase is over and i started my blog for uh, especially for giving book reviews and discussing discussing on books and whatever uh, new release or new books that i come up with and uh, i wanted to put on the table to discuss with you and also to take suggestion from you guys on what what uh, new books to read and what all do i do we need to discuss so uh today after so after a few weeks from all the break uh last time i know my last blog was eat related which i just uh took a brief brief shots of whatever whichever i did uh me and my sister we enjoyed it with our family last time uh in my last blog during each celebration and like after that i really was missing making blogs and making videos but of course book reading and book discussion it won't be like it won't be happening for the next one or two months because once i get engaged with a very nice book like or once i get engaged with any other book i am like i am i very uh like i'm not used to dnfing any book whether i like it or not like if i randomly pick up a book and i uh, i just found out that uh, means if i just find out that i i'm not liking that particular book which i pick up like randomly without reading the synopsis or without reading uh, about the author or without getting any recommendations from any other like randomly picking up and just finding out that you're not liking a book then also i hardly dnf any book because it's like uh like um, really had to really had to keep down a book incomplete whether it's for it's up to my taste or not it it was uh, any book has been particularly put uh, has been particularly written by making lots making lots of efforts and lots of time by that particular author so i just really don't like uh, like keeping down keeping off or switching off to another one or just putting off in the middle of the book it's kind of like disrespecting that author right like it's not for like uh, it's okay for you guys but it's according to me i'm saying because i myself have been uh, i though i haven't written uh more than a book but i myself have been in that phase where i was a new writer and i was promoting for my book in the beginning phase and i was like i just wanted some kind of little bit of respect and little bit of concern from the readers whether or not they like it i i was not looking for their full support or like i i mean i was not looking for their five star uh rating from their side five star four star or really good compliments from their side from the reader's side but i just wanted them to feel my book like just wanted them to try and pick up give it a try so i know that uh, i have that special place for each and every writer according to me every one of the author is special to me and they i feel like they ought to get a little bit of respect uh, because of course they have made a whole book out of scratch out of uh, here and there ideas so anyway we'll talk more on this in my other blog letter blog, uh, blogs in the future but today i'll like i started with this evening uh, coffee and evening walk in my veranda outside and i will 
end with uh, this amazing, uh, this really, really good self-help or what should I say, totally non-fictional, which I don't usually read because it's my childish nature, I know, but I, I always go for fictional characters and like, okay, we'll leave this topic again aside otherwise i'll be like taking a whole time of you talking on this fictions and non-fictions and why i'm into fiction more okay so i book uh, i picked this up recently i know i'm really too late for picking this up just now only although i have i'm already in the middle of this book but uh this is that kind of book which is not supposed to be finished up in a really hurry mode because I know it's a very, like, I can finish this up in two days or even uh, even in a day. Like, uh, uh, but uh, I really took this, this whole month, April, I have been, star I, I started this since, I think, last month, last week of last month or April first week. But I'm taking this quite a long, I'm taking my time and I'm like reading a page or even a single paragraph a day because i wanted to like digest and take all the valuable points regarding the this habit making and habit adapting so the this james clear guy has jot down so many really really good points on this atomic habit so who doesn't know this book i think universal universally this has been this may be the this may be this may have been a lots of readers favorite because so okay and i enjoyed uh jotting down highlighting and annotating many many points and believe me each and every page was worth highlighting and i i am planning to make a proper full video on talking about this and on about uh, highlighting and about making even you can make notes if you get time uh, trust me this will really come in handy with you in every aspect of your life regarding may it be your career may it be your uh, life planning family planning may it be your new job phase life new uh, like um, if like you are facing some kind of crisis in your life with your families with your relatives with your boyfriend husband or any kind of issues this will come in handy like you will get to know for those of you who have already tried this book you must be getting what i'm going to uh, what i'm about to uh, say on this book but like what i'm trying to bring uh what what points i'm trying to bring in front of you guys here regarding this book because the author has made it very easy first of all easy reading and he has been giving lots and lots of lots like enough amount of examples and instances in every kind of lesson he has been giving here i won't say lesson but every kind of experiences that he has made out of himself and he has made he has made this whole book just uh based on his own life whatever he has faced and whatever he has learned from every aspect of his life so uh, okay let's read a um, few lines from his first chapter like uh he's saying in this first chapter is about surprising power of atomic habits and uh, he also gives summary at the, in the end of every book, which is to go like, which is like, which is to converge all your ideas, whatever you have read in the first, uh, in the beginning of the chapter, and then as you keep going on, some points may have like there's a chance, huge chance that some points may have missed out of your mind, and you need to reread it again. But this summary will take care of all of those things. And sometimes when you like, when you just uh, get a quick look of any of the chapters by looking from the index but you don't want to you don't have time you can't afford to read whole the chapter again from the beginning then you can just go through this point through all these points that he has summarized here in the end like uh for this chapter number one habits are the compound interest of all of of self-improvement getting one person better every day counts for a lot in the long run like it means a lot you know it carries a lot of meaning inside it one person will also count to be will also be counting very significant for you 
if once you start going through this process and habits are a double-edged sword they can work for you or against you which is why understanding the details is essential small changes often appear to make no difference until you cross a critical threshold the most powerful outcomes of any compounding process are delayed you need to be patient an atomic habit is a little habit that is part of a larger system just as atoms are the building blocks of molecules atomic habits are the building blocks of remarkable results if you want better results then forget about setting goals focus on your system instead you do not rise to the level of your goals you fall to the level of your systems how amazing these points are so you can feel it as you start adapting to little little step little changes in your life you start feeling whatever he is trying to put inside your put inside our mind like how these little little things will uh, leave a huge impact in our life in any kind of phases in any kind of issues or in any in no matter what you are facing what you are undergoing through or no matter how whatever you are in doing no matter what i just can't get enough of this book and we'll discuss on this on a whole lot video like let's take like simple um i know i'm gonna take some 45 to 50 minutes video on this and if you are sure that you will get bored of that video then I don't know you just can ignore that but i'm sure i'm just planning it's my dream to make a uh, make a very huge video like make a whole video on this book only how to annotate how to make notes and how to uh, get important points out of it and how to start applying in our daily life okay i have talked too much for today and let's end up here okay we'll meet uh, we'll meet up soon and just wish me luck for my upcoming exams and i will uh and remember me in your prayers and take care bye bye all of you guys love you